Okay, I'm having to get a little friendly with the camera here, but I'm gonna do an explanation right now about lead and how lead works and why and what I mean when I'm always talking about it. Um, lead in its most general sense is which direction the trees are laid out. And we generally, when we say we wanna keep our lead or not cross leads, it's that we want all of our wood stacked in like a book of matches if possible. And so, and then when old timers say, work your lead with the ground, let me zoom in a little bit. This ground is a knob here, as you see. So it rolls around. So working my lead with the ground here is, is that all in this bottom, I had trees quartered down this way and then out towards this point this way. And then right up at the very top, I flopped tops up over the edge of this lip here, which they busted the ends off. But in general, I was able to keep my lead pointed all this direction with butts on this left end. And that helps the logging because when they log, they're gonna log in a downward direction and they're gonna log down this slope because there's, look at this draw here and this draw here. These are both draws, small fish creek, small non-fish creek. So as they log down towards this area, they're gonna be coming down on butts and then logging butts up. And this was all modified buck in here. This was 24 inch buck and there was some really big, nice wood in here. So, and then it gets even more important as you're down in an area like this, because you don't want to blast log straight across this belly here. This is like a small draw without a crick in it. And logs will break long, especially dug fir. Dug fir likes to split and break long like a canoe down across a belly like this. So I quarter wood kind of up and down these draws out the flat ground and up and down these draws out the flat ground. And so as I work this lead in, I will cross tops with things because the tops, there's not a lot of good wood in them. They've, there's limbs on them, they're soft. They kind of cushion the impact of others. You can build a basket of limbs in top to protect nicer logs and whatnot. So when we're talking about lead, we're talking about lead with the ground. And then we're talking about lead with the logging. Now this logger, absolutely one of the best loggers that I've ever cut for. He gives these maps that are just as detailed as can be. Uh, part of this is the landowner and then part of this is him just really, really putting effort into giving us the best information to get a good job done. So this is a landing and these are his roads that he's going to cable log uh, that his hook tender has decided that's where they're gonna go or he as the hook tender, the owner was pretty much a hook tender. Um, so that means that they're gonna suspend their skyline to here, tail off on the other side of this creek and log everything up to this landing. So, and they're gonna start at the top, presumably, and log this, and then road change, log this, and then road change, log this, and road change, log this, and road change, log this. Then they're gonna bounce down to here. There's another high point here, as you can see, high point and then low point, there's a draw here. There's another draw here, and some of these draws are pretty steep. So they're gonna try and log all their high points first and log into lower points. Now, another point to notice is that this map is actually legended for grade, which is really nice. So what we've got is 40 to 60 is in blue, 60 to 70 is in yellow, 70 to 80 is in orange, and anything red is 80% slope or better which a lot of it in this one is steeper than 80 percent so when oh i know a lot of you guys that, that that are like well i cut on steep ground all the time i do this i do that i hear that all the time but a lot of guys i don't think and i i, I take what you guys say sometimes with a grain of salt which might not be fair to you but the bottom line is is that the ground we're cutting on is is a lot steeper than you guys can tell from from a camera and you know the evidence is a geological survey that i mean a good 40% of this ground was 80%. So, uh, and then, so this, this logger 
had already uh, made a deal with the landowner that this was to be tethered cut with a buncher and he marked that out, ribboned it himself so that way we didn't get into there. And then this was gonna be tether cut and the buncher just swung all this up to the road so they could just have it ready to log, no yard or log in there. So that's the other part of lead is where they're gonna log to. And a ton of this unit, anything that was under 24, we literally just got to tree length it straight down the hill cutting and so then they're logging into butts as they come down these draws down these draws down the ground they're coming into butts and logging whole trees up to the landing and that's pretty common with certain landowners especially uh, loggers that have big big yarders and heavy equipment uh, there they have us do a lot of tree length felling uh, with no bucking specs or with like a 24 or 28 inch bucking spec because it's cheaper because uh, manpower is the most expensive part of this job and so the cheaper they can get it done usually the better um, so all of this pretty much got tree lengths uh, straight down the hill uh, down in this area was some way bigger stuff and then up this knob right here along the uh, tethered buncher was some pretty big stuff <laughs> And so Sadie was here and so she fell a bunch of these trees, you know, straight down the hill because it's not as steep on this hogback ridge. And uh, she did a lot of bucking in there, but then along this face and in this steeper ground, there was a lot of like quarter. So we quartered down the draw and down the hill. So that way the tops kind of step right into this little draw here. And so that, that happens along this ground but then straight down the good ground, straight down the good ground, quartered into the draw, quartered into the draw. And so you get a unit that looks kind of like this as the leads down the ground. And then that's how the yarder is going to log. So you've got trees essentially quartered down at the same angle as the rigging. So when they pull up to the skyline, they're just pulling logs straight up out of this draw with the sky car up to the skyline and up to the landing. So that's lead and that's how that works. Now. Let's pretend this unit was going to be a felon buck unit all the way through. Well, typically you're gonna start at a low point or the lowest point, which would be here and here. And so we would have started, started our felon buck, but we would have kept our lead a lot more working around this ground here. And the reason is, is because we like to buck on flatter ground. And the only reason that is, is for one, if you're bucking straight up and down the hill, even no matter how clean you buck, you end up gravity just pinches you a lot and it's a pain in the butt and it's time consuming. Also, it makes you tired. So it's way easier to just do a little extra wedging and be bucking on flatter ground. Um, and so we would work our lead around this ground, cross tops here, cross tops here. And as we work around this, we'd be cutting from the lowest point to an extent. We'd get all this cut slowly and then we'd bounce around this edge. And then I'd get a big bite cut here, up to here, peel over, and then I'd bounce back down to the bottom, get a hole started, bounce up to here and bounce up to here. And so what I'd be doing is I'd be constantly working in and up these draws like this and then bouncing the other side, work in and up this draw like this and then around this knob and up this draw and up this knob, etc. Now I'm to the road, I'll pack back down again and start again. So that's how lead works and that's what I'm talking about when I talk about lead is that there's a method to the madness and I don't always have it right sometimes a log girl will go hey what in the heck were you thinking down there why did that why is this why did that and sometimes it's a safety issue sometimes it's I had my best judgment and they feel better knowing that I at least was thinking about something they say well next time I'd rather um, and other times they say well whatever you ate for breakfast that morning don't eat it again because that was fouled and we don't ever want that again. Hey, that's a learning experience. Everybody goes through that. Um, in this particular unit, this triangle did not get cut. There was a deep crick there. Uh, there was a really steep rock slab right in here that wasn't timbered. And then as you can see, this is over 80%. This is closer to 90% grade over here and not much timber on it. And it just wasn't safe to get. The only way would have been to come down this ridge and then bounce into it and we, they wouldn't have been able to tail off over here anyways. And so this whole triangle didn't get cut. It got left for the fishes. So um, that happens. And I'm sure somebody wasn't particularly happy about it, 
but it it just happens sometimes that a, a piece gets left out or doesn't get cut for a reason um, this whole piece is in the unit but if you look down to the legend it is rma rma is a leave zone for cricks it's a crick buffer uh water courses etc um there's other reasons for leave areas what's another one here um lta that's a leave timbered area i don't i don't know why they call different things uh, for different reasons but most of the time what it means is is don't cut it so this is a whole buffered area it's inside the uh the sale area inside the um, the treatment area but it got left timbered got left timbered so that should uh, give you guys a little better idea of what I'm talking about when I talk about lead. And uh, you know, the cartographers among us will, will realize, I mean, this is some really steep ground. Like these draws are really nasty. Um, even in areas where like this is a big slide is what happened here. A piece of the mountain slid out to here. So it's really flat down here. And what it is is all this earth used to be up here about 300 years ago. And uh, the reason I know about 300 years ago is because there's old duffer stumps down here that were hundreds of years old, thousands of years old before they were even cut. So this is a pre-human slide here and uh, it slid out. A big chunk of the earth is sitting right here. And then this was just steeper than the backside of God's head right here. And it was, it was pretty rough. Uh, inside this draw and inside this draw were pretty nasty. This was some of the toughest cutting that I think Sadie's ever done. So you guys, uh, maybe you'll have a little better idea. If you have any questions uh, further than that, uh, I got some other maps, a bunch of have gotten thrown away through the years. Um, but uh, I should be able to, to clarify some stuff and, and explain a little more what lead is, uh, when and why, and you know, why, what we do, what we're doing.